Hey guys, Tutonia here, bringing you a quick guide to projectile weapons, their strengths, weaknesses, typical plays versus other weapon systems, and ammo choices. Projectile weapons are probably the most complicated turret weapon system to understand, due to their multiple ammo type differences and huge fitting discrepancy between autocannons and artillery. The advantages of projectile weapons are the fact that they use no capacitor to fire, which means that projectile ships are not as vulnerable to energy warfare, and they can often dish out a lot of energy warfare themselves, as every single projectile frigate in the game has access to at least one utility high slot, allowing you to fit energy neutralizers or energy vampires. Projectile weapons also benefit from being more flexible with their damage type selection. While it is not as flexible as missiles in the actual damage department, there are different damage types to choose from for different range ammos. For example, for close range ammo, Mimitar ships can choose between EMP, which does mostly EM damage, Phase Plasma, which does mostly thermal damage, or Fusion, which does mostly explosive damage. There are also some other niche ammo types like Depleted Uranium, which gives you a 20% tracking bonus on the ammo itself, which can give you some more flexibility, which we'll talk about a bit more later. The downsides of projectile weapons are that projectiles deal the least raw DPS out of all the turret options. Both energy and hybrid turrets outdamage them in both short and long range variations. They also have the longest reload time at 10 seconds versus hybrid weapons which reload in half that time, and energy weapons which have no set reload time. So while they might have the most flexibility in the strategic sense, tactically they have the least flexibility, and it can often be much harder to adjust to an evolving situation, such as an extra ship coming in or ships ch changing ranges. Uh, let's go a bit more in depth into the two types of projectile weapons. So first of all, we'll look at autocannons. Autocannons are the short-range variation of projector weapon systems. Typically, they can do good DPS to around about 6 kilometers with faction ammo types, and to scram range with barrage loaded. Autocannons use the least resources out of any turret-based weapon system. They have very low fitting requirements. Notably, the 125mm autocannons only uses a, a single unit of power grid to fit. It's not uncommon for ships like the Punisher and the Tristan, without damage bonuses, or on the attack on bait fits, to use autocannons for this reason since it allows them to oversi oversize on tanking or utility modules. They also have slightly less tracking than blasters, but a moderate amount more tracking than pulse lasers. Autocannons have very large clip sizes, so it can often take 5 or 6 minutes of constant shooting before autocannons have to reload. Autocannon ships will very often want to approach missile ships, so they can use their full paper DPS versus them, and most missile ships will almost always be able to damage you at all ranges in scram range, if you're using autocannons, so you will almost always want to approach them. Against laser ships you'll also want to approach them, since that you will always lose a long range exchange versus beams, and versus scorch if they're using pulse lasers. Uh, going close also enables you, uh, autocannon ships to try and use their tracking advantage uh, versus pulse and beam, and also the utility high slot, which might be energy vampire, energy neutralizer, uh, against them at full effectiveness, since uh, many energy turret sh ships uh, have very high cap requirements, particularly beams. Against hybrid using ships, you'll want to approach railgun ships for the same reason as energy turret ships, to use your tracking advantage and utility high. Against blasters, you'll want to kite at range. Artillery are the long range version of projector weapon systems. They can usually apply the vast majority of their DPS to scram range and can hit and fall off at about 20 kilometers with short range ammo. They have the highest alpha strike, which means they do very high ch damage per shot, but with a longer rate of fire. The downsides of artillery are that they have the highest fitting requirements of all turret weapons, the opposite of auto cannons, and the majority of projectile ships have to make uh, a lot of fitting sacrifices fitting them since Mimitar tend to have uh, lower fitting. Uh, capacity than uh, Amara and Galanti ships. They also have the lowest tracking of all the long range weapon systems, although rails are pretty close and so it's only really beams that out track them significantly. Uh, so let's let's go over all the uh, great all the ammo types now in, in much greater de detail. The best way to talk about these is to separate them into three bands like I've done here. So uh, in the close range band, uh, these have a 50% range bonus. You shouldn't worry about this bo this bonus whatsoever on auto cannons. In fact, I can I can probably just show you a graph. I'll just put a graph on screen. You should never ever use the other five types, uh, particularly in frigates. There is some merit to using depleted uranium or titanium uh, titanium saber. Uh, if you're using like a Macarrier or a Tornado, it's something that uses large guns for the 20% tracking bonus in some situations. But uh, the, the close range ammo types will always out damage the longer range ammo types at all ranges in autocannons. You should never use the other types in autocannons. Which might seem really weird. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the close range band, uh, there's EMP, Fusion and Phase Plasma. These deal the most DPS. 
and you should always be using them in autocannons if you're not using either of the two uh, advanced amortizers, which are Barrage and Hail, which we'll get into a bit later. So this close range band, you can uh, you you would pick either of these three based on the the damage type that you want to deal. So Republic Fleet EMP. This does mostly EM damage and a, a very small amount of explosive and kinetic damage. You'll be wanting to shoot EMP at Tech 2 Kadari ships and just shield ships in general. So, so anything that's shield tanked or Tech 2 Kadari, you'll want to shoot uh, Republic Fleet EMP uh, S into. Uh, Republic Fleet Fusion, uh, typically you want to use this against armor tank ships. Uh, although avoid using this against Tech 2 Omar. Um, this is probably a, this is a, a good choice against Tech 2 Galanti. And then uh, the, the final one is Republic Fleet Phase Plasma. This is uh, more of a safe type. Uh, thermal damage tends to be the best damage type in the game to deal against Tech 1 ships anyway. Like aside from shooting uh, Tech 2, Kadari and Amar, like it's overall it's a really solid damage type. So if you're not sure what damage type to load, uh, Republic Fleet Phase Plasma is the one that's probably going to punish you the least. It, it, it tends to be like okay against shield, okay against armor. You're not really punished too heavily by choosing it. Uh, the other two uh, types that you would typically use in uh, in uh, in auto cannons would be barrage. Uh, barrage gives you a fifty percent fall off bonus, unlike the optimal range bonus uh, on these, which is uh, absolutely useless. Uh, the fall uh, since um, auto cannons operate almost entirely in fall off. Uh, uh, barrage tends to, uh, from a frigate perspective anyway, which is why I'm focusing this guide on. You, you typically, you want to load barrage and use barrage against ships that are further than five kilometers against you. So you, you'd load barrage against blaster ships most often. Against everything else, you generally want to approach on on an auto cannon ship to use your tracking and to use uh, your utility high slot. So barrage is typically the option that you'll load against uh, blaster ships. Or maybe there's like some other like nasty ship that you don't want to get too close to. That, that's what barrage is for. Now hail is a bit of a weird type. It's very often the wrong choice. So hail is basically like super fusion, uh, super fusion, but, but it has a seventy, it has a uh, <coughs> zero point seven times tracking speed multiplier, and a lot of people misrepresent this. Um, this is actually a forty two percent tracking penalty, and the reason for that. Is because it's a 0 0.7 multiplier. Like a lot of people, t when people talk to me, that they assume it's like a tw like a 30 percent tracking bonus. That's not the case. Like how you calculate this, it, uh, the actual penalty is like one divided by 0 0.7, which is uh, about 42 percent. It's close to 43 percent, but 42 percent is a more memorable number. So this is going to make your track. This is going to make you track incredibly awful. Um, <coughs> Hail Air certainly tends to be <coughs> uh, effective in an all-in and against an, an armor tank ship. So it's incredibly niche and it's incredibly limited. I would very I would very often recommend just not loading Hail Air unless you know what you're doing. Because it, it is it can like pretty much like all the saber kills that I get in my casual is because they chose to load um Hail Air against me. Or, uh, or or just like pilot really poorly. Do not use Hail S. <laughs> unless unless you're like in an all-in against an armor ship it, it is a lot more limited than it might think and <coughs> it's a lot more limited than the other tech 2 armor types so we're gonna go a bit more into artillery now because you would again uh, especially on the frigate level never use these five armor types depleted uranium titanium saber carbonized lead nuclear and proton uh, just so I uh, made it clear like these these do mostly explosive damage barrage and hail but uh, if you are if you are kiting further than six kilometers, uh, barrage is probably better than the EMP. But um, you are only ever going to load barrage against blaster ships mostly, and those tend to be weak against explosive damage. So don't worry about it too much. So uh, these don't have a penalty whatsoever to uh, range. So typically you'll get like uh, like twelve to fifteen kilometer optimal if you load these into a two hundred and fifty millimeter artillery or two hundred and eighty millimeter artillery. And the the main reason for loading these two ammo types <coughs> is the twenty percent tracking multiplier that they have. Uh, th these tend to be pretty good ammo types to use if you plan on kiting with artillery at about twenty kilometers. Now artillery also have tend to have pretty decent fall off too. And uh, like if something gets on top of you 
then uh, if you don't have access to uh, Quake, which does have a, a slightly stronger tracking bonus, it's twenty five percent. Or that maybe there's some maybe there's like a like the the main reason for learning this is like if there's a crow that's pointing you at twenty four kilometers or something. And uh, uh, Raphonic Fleet depleted uranium is otherwise they're the same. This is uh, split between uh, thermal, kinetic, and explosive. It's mostly thermal and explosive with some kinetic. So th this uh, depleted uranium tends to be a safer d damage type if you're not sure which one to carry or if you don't want to carry both because it's often not worth, in worth carrying both. I just carry depleted uranium because it has a very nice damage split anyway. And uh, t titanium saber is basically the same except it just has like the explosive and thermal lumped into entirely kinetic. And it, 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 and it has like a slightly weaker explosive. So, uh, depleted uranium is probably better to carry out of the two if you only want to carry one of the 20% tracking speed multiplier ammo. And then the, the final band is the uh, long range band, which has a 60% range bonus, although <coughs> this band does half the DPS of, of uh, this mid tier. So it does very, very low DPS. In fact, uh, you're probably almost always better carrying Tremor. Normally, you'd only ever load these uh, in like fleet fights and stuff like that. But again, they kind of have the same damage splits, so uh, Proton is basically like EMP with some kinetic. This is mo um, nuclear, is mostly explosive. It's basically fusion, but the long range version. And then uh, carbonized lead is like kinetic with some explosive. Uh, it's, it's not, <coughs> these are not too notable, so. I don't want to carry uh, cover artillery too much though, because you probably won't be using them solo. Uh, he's, uh, these are the advanced uh, artillery types. It's Quake. This has a, a huge range penalty. It's 75% instead of 50% on the smaller types, although it does do slightly more damage than them. This is very slightly more damage than Fusion. With uh, so, so a bit more put into Kinetic <coughs> than Fusion. So this does only slightly more damage, but the reason why you use this is the 25% tracking bonus that it has. It has the best tracking bonus, so in an artillery ship, if something gets on top of you, you would swapped and you can't track it, you'd swap to Quake to, to track them. And Tremor is like the mega mega awesome uh, range bonus thing. <coughs> it has a, has, a, has a bigger range than uh, uh, Carbonized Lead, Nuclear, Proton, and it also does more damage than them, so you would almost always want to use them. The only reason why you wouldn't use them is because it has a, tr a tracking speed multiplier. And this is a 0 0.25 tracking speed multiplier, which means it tracks four times worse. And in fact, it actually tracks more than four times worse than this ammo because they have a 5% tracking speed multiplier. So I hope this uh, explains uh, artillery and autocannon ships a bit better and like what the ammo types you would carry. So for, in this autocannon slasher, I carry uh, EMP, fusion, Republic Fleet, phase plasma, uh, all faction, and then hail, air, and barrage. Although I would, I very uh, seldom ever load these two ammo types. I'd only ever load barrage against a blaster ship, and uh, everything else I'd probably just go RF EM, uh, Republic Flea, uh, Face Plasma is the safe type. Then you could you can use uh, RF EMP against um, shield ships and RF Fusion against armor ships if if you know which which type they belong to. And you you'd probably use EMP or Fusion against Tech Two Galantium Kodari. Anyway, I hope this helps explain uh, the, the ammo choices and how uh, projectile ships in general should behave and fight against other ships. Uh, to put it into a into like a, a quick a quick like <coughs> like summary, I'd say um, your ammo choice is is almost always going to be close range and go close against everything else: missiles, lasers, uh, other projectile ships, <coughs> probably. Um, and rail guns, you're going close, you're using the most appropriate uh, type out of these three. Only use hail if you're 100% sure it's armor and you're 100% sure your tracking is not going to drop off whatsoever. Again, uh, in Mimitar ships as well, they tend to have very low signature radiuses. So this one, this slasher actually has a base of 30 mm. If I destroyed all these shield stuff, it would have a base of 30. Uh, and Mimitar ships tend to have higher speeds too, so very often you want to orbit at a tight angle as possible to uh, mitigate as much DPS.
and like lo by loading hail because it has such a horrendous tracking penalty of like plus 42 percent you don't want to use it a lot of the time like it's going to fuck up your dps a lot more than it's going to help it so I i'd avoid it unless you're shooting a target that's bigger than you or it's a situation where you where you know you can just like s like all in at zero like against a missile chip if it's a missile ship that happens to be weak to explosive, which there is basically none, because Tech 2 MR ships are, have explosive resistances and Kadari ships tend to uh, be pretty uh, pretty um, strong and have, have uh, like high explosive resistances. There's not really like a, a te like a Tech 1 armor like missile frigate, so I, I avoid hail. It's it's almost always the wrong choice. But I mean, carry it anyway because you know, might as well. It's cheap, and uh, barrage. You load against blaster ships. <coughs> uh, sorry for sounding like shit, by the way, because I'm like really, really, uh, I'm really sick from fanfest. Anyway, I hope this helped. Uh, I'll stop like droning on and being a retard. See you soon.